Ah, yes. Beautiful track. The absolute greatest track right here. Old school Slipeco. But, speaking of Gen 1, we will have Caterpie, Jolteon, and Baltoy versus Curlia, Togetic, and the uncontested god of Generation 1, if you are playing Red, Blue, and Yellow, Mewtwo. Sadly, no Amnesia spam set. Because basically nothing stops that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hope for the freeze of Chansey, otherwise you just lose. But Mewtwo will be an incredibly hard challenge for the opposing team to take down, although it's IVs and things appear to be on the lower side. Baton Pass Togetic, though, could give some nasty boost to Mewtwo. And switching is enabled. But it's Gantine Cat Catergod is back on the blue team again. We have forgiven his betrayal from the previous match. Ancient power is indeed rock type, not ground type. Also, it is. Uh, yes, it is indeed February t the 6th. You gave birth. According to the somewhat not canonical things anymore of Gen 1. Me first, Mewtwo, though. Not sure how much good that's going to do in, a, in this kind of battle. The lock-on Psycho Cup will be an interesting thing to see. Twenty-five seconds remaining. Ah, Paper Mario. I need to play that again. It's on my Wii U. But I think my brother-in-law or so forth has it right now. Great soundtrack in that game. And yet my girlfriend, who loves RPGs, will not play Paper Mario. Because she thinks it's the devil. Or all Mario games the devil. And we're gonna start out with Catergod versus Curlia. Oh, Doom music, yes! How about some metal in your Pokemon games? Netball. Netball from your ball. Caterpie has Intimidate, yes. But it's a double Intimidate back and forth. Caterpie going for the lock-on guillotine combo. Curly is going to have to act fast. Curly is going to have to switch, otherwise that lock-on will guarantee a one-hit knockout. And here comes the guillotine! Sliced apart by guillotine! Togetic now enters the battle on a luxury ball. Let's see if she if it's more able to deal with Caterpie than before. Caterpie's going for the U-turn. Critical hit U-turn. Not effective that much. Caterpie is going back. And will be replaced by another Pokemon. And Jolteon comes onto the field as well. Try attack from the Togetic. Jolteon going for the Thunder Fang. Physical defense, not the strongest suit of that target. Too. Big damage. Very impressive damage. Try attack again. And the try attack does not do any. <laughs> target falls back in 
In comes Mewtwo! Mewtwo is going to exert the pressure on that Jolteon. Mewtwo itself does not have a whole lot of physical defense. But the Psycho Cut! Tremendous damage! And the Jolteon is down, because Jolteon also does not have so much great physical defense. Baltoy is now on the field. Mewtwo's only real attack right now is Psycho Cut, unfortunately. Not very effective against Baltoy. The bolt size only offering is Zen Headbutt. Which was even less effective. Actually, no. Baltoy has Earthquake and the like, so that might do a bit better. Mewtwo's still going for that critical Psycho Cut shot. Still yet to find it. But the Trick Room! The dimensions of this world have been distorted. And now Boltoy goes first, with the uh, tremendous earthquake. Although not as effective, as one might hope. And Boltoy brings down Mewtwo with a critical earthquake! And Mewtwo disappears. And now it is only Togetic, who is a mute earthquake, and has reasonably much better special defense than physical. But Togetic is kinda... I believe Togetic's a little slower. Yes it is, Togetic is indeed slower than Baltoy. Going for the Rainbow Boost. Although, and it gets the Rainbow Boost! Kappa Pride's in the chat. Coming down the rock slide, and Togetic is defeated. Catacron and Boltoy make it happen with an 84% payout for the blue team. Folks, I appreciate all of you watching Twitch Plays Pokemon here so far. We are back at our hourly break, and very soon we will have the token match. Once the token match is done, I will be tossing my commentary duties over to the wonderful Brian and Brian the Gamer. I do apologize if I have mispronounced your name in any ways, but yes. That is who we'll be commentating in just a short bit. Right now, with the hourly break, the first code, uh, the first token bid is uh, what appears to be fighting Ar Ar Arceus, Regigigas, and Lucario versus Regirock, Regiice, and Registeel. Ah, yes, Brian the Gamer. Ryan Gamer will be joining us very shortly here. He will be, I believe, he shall be taking over from my position once the token battle has concluded. As for the hint of this Pokemon, this Pokemon came to the defense of Pokemon that had lost their homes in a war among humans. It communicates its feelings to others by emitting whistle-like sound from the tubes in its body. This Pokemon only raises its voice when it is in battle. It emits a variety of sounds from the holes all over its body. Its loud cries can be heard from over six miles away.
The chat does not believe me that I am calling upon the great brand brand gamer. If you are with me here, please state your presence with us and confirm that you will indeed be taking over at the start here of the end of the token battle. Hello TPP, how are we all doing tonight? It is I, Brian the Gamer, and I will be commentating after the conclusion of the next match. And from what I can tell, the hint seems to be sounds like Explode. But yes. I'm not sure. The second token bid. Oh, there we go. There's the Porygon bid again. I would be all for commentating with uh, Brian the Gamer, uh, but it is nearly like 2 in the morning, and I want to do other stuff and things, but that's okay. And it is indeed Explode. So the token battle will be the Porygon Evolutions. But first, back to Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Who will win the final token of my commentary run here this evening? Who shall it be? I've only seen the Porygon guy try once. He hasn't tried as of late yet. And fresh out 100k.